Got the bottom seal broken. Let's pull it off. Came apart. Let me replace it. You see the shape of this? It's 3 8 inches wide. There's two pieces that go down to the bottom to keep try to keep the water from going into the door and then there's an inside drip seal. These are made for the bottom, they're not made for sides. So when replacing this, of course, we want to get the width right. I'm going to copy this width. The big question is how do you want to cut these? This type of plastic, if you bend it too much, it whitens. And so you can either use surgical scissors or snippers or a hacksaw. I'm going to show you what they look like. Here's a replacement piece. You can see the difference in the color. This stuff yellows over time. This bathroom's not used much. Plastic just degrades. And it's a lot longer than I need. So I need to cut it to fit. I'll measure it right on this one. Taking the old one, lined it up. Put a pencil mark where I want to cut the new one. Let's look what happens when we cut this material with these surgical scissors. See, that's not too bad. Not exactly straight. You get some bending going on. You see how that plastic turns white when it's bent? Let's try it one more time, see if I can get it a little differently. Bent again. Let's try these snippers. Yeah, they, they can't get a good bite. these things they have ridges on the blade these are smooth and it just slips bend it all up let's try a little hacksaw That's probably the cleanest cut. Yep, I'm going to go with the saw. We have a hard piece here and here. And then these are soft. I can always cut that part with the scissors. Nice cut. Pull that shavings off. Yep. All right, let's go put it back in. You want to get the little white pieces off the end? Just get a little wet sponge. Go over it. Cleans it up nicely. You put a couple drops of water in here and slide it back and forth. Sort of lubricate that track a little bit. It'll help it slide on easier. Okay, we're going to put the angle edge to the inside of the door. Just come down here and push it up. And slide it on. we go. Okay, make sure it's 
all the way up on the wall. It's a really snug fit. Fits nicely. And I showed you what that profile is. You can see it here again. Clamps onto that 3H inch door. There's two pieces going down that move. And then the firmer one here. The side is different. It's just like the shape of an H. It's onto the glass and there's a little piece that sticks out. So it fits pretty well on the bottom. So when we look at it from inside, you see this trim goes to the bottom. And this one, you may have to move it back and forth a little bit. We do have a room over here for it to come in right next to it. You don't want it bulging out the bottom, hitting. So if that was a quarter inch or eighth inch to the right, it would bend that out. So you want it to come right next to it like that, get a good seal. Another little simple DIY project.